Welcome to First Christian Church Midweek Moment. The Midweek Moment that we have for today, I want to base it on the scripture coming from James 1, verse 19. The scripture reading that I'm going to use comes from the Living Bible. Dear brothers, don't ever forget that it is best to listen much, speak little, and not become angry. Now think about that. That's kind of hard to do. Speak little. We all got our opinions and we all like to express our opinions. And not to get angry. But the first thing that it says in the scripture for us to do is listen much. Well, listen much, okay? How do we listen? Not too long ago, I was listening to a person uh, explaining something and they made a comment that I had never thought about before and that was to listen with kindness. We talk about speaking with kindness, but listening with kindness. So let's think about hearing and listening. I've often said to people, you hear me, but you're not listening. If we look at the definitions for hearing, it is defined in the Webster Dictionary, the process function are part of perceiving sound. So we hear it, but listening is defined to pay attention to sound, to hear something with thoughtful intentions, and to give consideration. I like to think that we hear with our ears and listen with our minds because the mind then tells us what we're hearing. But even in listening, we sometimes listen through our own perspective, from our own experiences. So sometimes in listening, we listen in a sense, hear what we think we're here listening to or hearing, but it's not what the person is saying. In counseling, one of the first things they teach you to do is in listening to a person, you paraphrase back to that person what you believe they have said. You might not use the same words that they say, but the meaning. What did they mean by what they told you? So I like to think of listening with kindness as listening to what that person is trying to convey to you, not what you are perceiving from them. So maybe you need to take in, ask some questions, make sure you understand what they're saying to you. I had an experience after hearing listening with kindness. I called on in about an order. And in this time of our lives, sometimes orders are very late getting in. And I understand that. But the person who I was speaking to said to me, um, not, you know, weren't you told not to call in before 10 weeks and different things? And I think, well, I could have got angry very quickly the way it was said to me. But I thought, listen with kindness. Maybe they had a bad day. Maybe someone, somebody had been, you know, not very kind to them. I just said, thank you. I checked back later. If I listen with kindness, I will be slow to speak and I will be slow to, ang to come to being angry with someone. So I challenge you to try when the next time someone is talking, listen with kindness. Think about what maybe they've been experienced. And if you don't understand what they're saying, ask them for clarification so we can communicate very clearly. Let us pray. Most Heavenly Father, you tell, you've taught us to treat others like we want to be treated. And in that process, I ask that you might help us to listen with kindness, to help others get through rough times so that we will be slow to speak and slow to anger. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.